Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to send all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of Israel. To all you brothers out there, I say shalom. Uh, today, man, I just want to talk about um, how I find my way to this truth. Okay, how I find my way to this truth. Well, one day um, I was working and um, I came home from work. And at the time I was living with my aunt. You know, I was going through a depressing time. And, you know, because I had quit my job and went to another job and that job didn't work out. So I had to take a pay cut and go to another job and I was barely making ends meet. And at that time, I was a, I was a security officer, and uh, the, security, the security the security job was okay, and um, you know because I could make overtime, which was good. Um, but uh, I came home from work one day, and I think uh, I don't know what I was doing. I was up in my room in my aunt's house, and my homeboy called me up, and you know he we got into the discussion about. Um, who the real Israelites are, uh, the real Israelites are the blacks, Hispanics, and Latinos. So he was telling me about that, and he said, everything you learn about Christianity, he said, man, forget it, bro, forget it. It's all a lie. And when he told me that, I was kind of distorted a little bit, thrown off, confused, thinking why all this time I was, you know, told a lie. But prior to that, two days ago before he called me, another brother from um, another tribe, I forgot, I think he was a tribe, Benjamite, so-called Jamaican, <clears throat> was telling me about the so-called chemtrails and stuff in the air and also FEMA camps. So two days before my homeboy told me about my hair, you know, about how blacks, Hispanics, and Latinos are Israelites, two days before that, another, another brother was telling me about FEMA camps, chemtrails, all these agendas to get rid of the middle class, how people want to depopulate, these elites want to depopulate the earth, you know? And I told my homeboy about it. I said, look, bro, you, you telling me all this stuff. And then I, heard, I had another brother uh, was telling me about some things too, you know? Um... You know, it 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 kind of it kind of was perfect timing, you know. So what I did, you know, I just did my research on my phone, you know, about who the real Israelites are. I googled it, you know, went YouTube, and um, basically, man, uh, that's how I got in it. So uh, my friend, my homeboy, my brother, who got me into this truth, man, he uh, he told me about. You know, the camp in Miami, you know, uh, GMS camp in Miami. And for those of you getting into this truth, stick with GMS. Don't go to any other doctrine. Great millstone, great millstone, all right? Because they have the truth. You have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of other Israelite camps out there who think they know it all, but they don't, you know. And for them, it's all about show. But GMS is not about show. They have facts, you know, that back up with scripture and also our events and stuff like that that happen, history. But uh, anyway, man, um, yo, man, about the camp, man, in Miami, I was watching those brothers um, for a while, for like four or five months, I think. And, um, you know, one day my home, my homeboy who got me into the truth, he told me, he, you know, he's, he, he, he used to go there. You know, he, he goes there. And I, I was like, for real, you go there? He's like, yeah, bro, I can take you one day. So um, we went one time. Um, it took a while for us to go because, you know, it, it took like a good four or five months for us to get together because at the time I was trying to transition and trying to save money, get my own crib. But, uh, you know, when I did, man, um. That experience was amazing because I was always watching those brothers 
on on the YouTube and stuff like that, and to actually go out go out there and meet them was uh was a very humbling experience, man. Cause those brothers knew knew the truth, you know. And you know, I learned more by watching those brothers speak than I have been in church for many years. I the first time I went to camp, I learned more in one day than I did for a lifetime of going to church, man. You know, uh, scriptures, they brought out scriptures with the current events and stuff like that. And it was awesome, man. It was awesome. Awesome experience. And, you know, to this day, I still go. And um, I just love being a spectator, man. Like, I mean, it's, it's amazing to see those young brothers speak and to see the, hear those young brothers quote scriptures like they're priests, you know. You would expect somebody older to quote scriptures like those brothers do. But no, nah, man, I mean, you got young guys, man, young Israelites speaking about the truth, speaking about what's going down in America, you know, what's going to go down in America, bringing scriptures out, you know, uh, speaking about the Bible, precept upon precept upon precept, you know. And there have been some ministers who, who, who have actually gone by the camp and tried to, you know, they they tried to go head to head with some of these brothers, man. I mean, those ministers, first of all, some of these ministers don't know jack shit. Excuse my French. They don't know jack shit. They just know John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, you know, and Genesis first chapter, in the beginning, God created heavens and the earth. They know the mainstream chapters, you know what I'm saying? They know the mainstream chapters. They don't know the truth. And, you know, but, uh, but yeah, man, if you don't, if you want to get into this truth, even if you're an atheist, all right, even if you're an atheist, go find, go online and find out who the real Israelites are. All right, go online and find out who the real Israelites are. The truth it will pop out at you. I mean, it, it, you got all kinds of information on Google and YouTube. Well, more, more, more so YouTube, you know, more so YouTube. But uh yeah man um and I want to and I want to uh tell y'all this man um go to uh some of these YouTube channels and see the agenda look up the the masons freemasons look up skull and bones um you know about KKK so I mean if you want to go look them up you can but these are societies used to uh these are these these underground societies or secret societies suppress the people, you know, Israelites or whatever uh, faces and other nations. Um, look up FEMA camps. Look up FEMA camps, and, and, and tell me what you find. Look up FEMA coffins. Look up uh, Rex eighty Rex. I think it's Rex eighty four project or something like that. Um, I mean, there's a lot going on in this world, man, that you don't know about. You know, and all praises to Yahweh by Hashem and Yahweh Shai. These brothers that I've been going to have been bringing it out, you know, and other, uh, G other GMS camps, you know. So look up FEMA camps. Look up uh, chemtrails. Look up uh, FEMA coffins. Look up Walmart FEMA camps. And let me know what you find, you know. Hey, man, it's real. It, this, this is really getting real, y'all. This is this ain't no Muslim stuff. I'm talking, and you know, when I say Yahweh by Hashem and Yahweh Shai, that's not even that's not even Islam. I mean, uh, that's a, that's a ancient Hebrew. I'm talking, you know. And for those of you who claim to know the Bible, get you an apocrypha because these books were taken out the Holy Bible to keep you suppressed, to keep you dumb, to keep you stupid. You know, open it up, read it, order one online. I bought this for like. Uh, 10 bucks, I think. Get you one of these. All right. Um, I think that's it, man. I just want to talk about my experiences and um, stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, man, look up FEMA camps, look up uh, chemtrails, Rex 84, all that good stuff, man. All right. And also, I want to tell you something President Obama. All right. I used to like President Obama. I I used to love President Obama. 
But after I went online and saw and and saw some of the stuff that he did behind behind him, a lot of Americans back, man, it will amaze you what he did. Signing treaties and stuff like that. You know, I mean, it's crazy, y'all. It is crazy. And then when you go, when you, okay, let me tell you something else. Now, there's a thing called subliminal messages in uh, the so-called music industry. When you listen to somebody's records backwards, you hear a subliminal me message. It talks about Satan. It talks about other things evil stuff, well, wicked stuff, you know, um, when you, for President Obama, um, when you, when you hear, yes, I think he had the slogan called, yes, yes we can, or something like that, but when you play it backwards, it says, thank you, Satan, no joke, y'all, you need to go on there and check it out, go on YouTube, subliminal message, President Obama, Subliminal message, President Obama, and let me know what you think. All right, I want to, I want to, I want to uh, hear some. I want you to comment, you know, uh, below, and, and and let me know what you think because some of y'all, you're not waking up, man. I was sleep too until my homeboy woke me up. You know what I mean? We we are actually living in the, in the last days, and if you don't have no spiritual ground or spiritual uh, base, hey. Man, hey, I feel sorry for you. I really, really feel sorry for you. So uh, I'm going to end the lesson here. I uh, just wanted to let you know, do a little sit down, one-on-one -on -one chat. Well, you know, not really one-on-one -on -one chat, but, you know, just talk for a second. You know, I know some of these scriptures can get a little mind-blowing sometimes, but uh, Lord willing, I'll probably do another Lord, well, Lord willing, I will do another lesson this week pertaining to this, this truth right here, this word. All right. Shalom. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Till next time, Shalom.